Our look at Broadway and beyond tonight, and a major milestone for a unique Times Square construction project, the slow and steady effort to lift a massive Broadway theater 30 feet off the ground is finally done. The theater was in the way of a project to put retail space on the ground floor. But as CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports, instead of destroying the landmark Palace Theater, developers got creative and saved it. All right. You must be protected. Obviously, we're in a construction site directly through the, the space here. We're getting this first look at the big footprint where construction crews toiled for months to make a century old Broadway theater appear to vanish, but not by knocking it down. It's now up above, raised 30 feet fully intact. An engineering marvel. Robert Israel, yeah. executive vice president of LNDL Holding Company, walked us around the new TSX Broadway with High Rise Hotel, retail, plus the Palace, and other performance spaces at 47th Street and 7th Avenue. The Palace dates back to the days of vaudeville. Later in the mid 1950s, Judy Garland famously played here, and more recently, Liza Minnelli packed them in. We have wanted to make sure that the Palace stayed the jewel that it is. The work began by detaching the Palace from its foundation, then ringing it with six feet of concrete. 34 high tech columns worked to inch all 14 million pounds of it up and up slowly. It just lifts very smoothly. It's like a very small, uh, strong piston. To see where the theater is now, We're going up to three. We took the elevator to this level where the gem of a theater remains sealed off for now. What also is at this level is our, the stage that we are creating out to Times Square. This is the space for the additional stage, flashy and high tech. Other landmark buildings have been moved, but laterally. This is a unique project in that it lifts the structure. And now you have a new stage area that I'm standing on with this incredible view. Back at street level, check the exterior to see the line of red brick facade that used to be at our feet, now way up over our heads. Seeing just what's possible these days will lift your spirits. In Times Square, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.